Okay, well, we're here uh, on the cruise with Robert Geisinger from Arcane Wonders, and you are showing off Foundations of Rome. Foundations right? of Rome. Uh, we're, which we're going to learn, uh, Dan and I. Dan? But what, You've what? been behind that box the whole time? <laughs> the whole time. That is a big box. It is a big box, a big, beautiful blue yeah. box. I, I just want everybody to know we did that bit with Dan because <laughs> I didn't fit behind that giant box. It is an enormous box. It's it is. really, really big. Normal sized person fits right behind it. It's yeah. a, nor a normal sized person can live in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 In fact, Rome was built with those yeah. boxes. In that box. Did you basically, did you just see Gloomhaven and go, nah, hold my beer? Right, yeah. right. Just, yeah. just hold, All right. hold this. All right. Well, it's, it's Rome, so hold my wine. Hold my wine, exactly. There All you right. go. So, uh, give us kind of an overview what, what kind of game is this? So, Foundations of Rome is a city building game. We're going to be building Rome. That, All right. That's, that's, that's it. We're done. All right. No. Okay. Good. No. So it takes a full day, right? <laughs> yeah. Rome was, was I mean, built Rome, in a day from what I heard. Rome was built in one day. So Excellent. you will need a whole day set aside. All right. And actually, in this case, Rome is built in an hour. This game is about right. an hour it's, long game? It's about an hour or so. Okay. Um, we're all going to be collectively building Rome out on the table. We're all, all right. architects. We're trying to impress the emperor. We're, we want to be the best. But, you know, you can't build Rome by yourself as much as you want to. Sure. Right? But you can build your buildings by yourself. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building buildings like apartment buildings, insulets. Right. I apologize to everyone that I cannot say any Roman words correctly. That's okay. So, uh, we're going to be building some commercial buildings, bringing a little commerce. But my favorite part are going to be the civic buildings. Because civics is always the most exciting thing that you can do well, yeah. in a game uh, I mean, listen, and in school. Listen. When you got an apartment building, that's true. It's important to have a library nearby. Meanwhile, half the audience is going, "What's the library? I don't. Do they still have those? <laughs> do they? Do they still have libraries? <laughs> actually, my local library actually has a place where you can p check out board games. So yeah. Yeah. that's awesome. All right. Yeah, so on a turn, though, it's going to be really simple. What we're going to be doing is we're either going to be purchasing a lot, which is going to give us a deed to one of the lots out there. Once you own it, it's yours. You can't steal it, you can't steal it. No one's stealing anything, got it? If I play Nero, can I burn it down? No. No. Oh, no. Uh, that's an expansion. You're yeah. going to be able to build... A fiddler expansion just yeah. comes with, with, with a set of matches. <laughs> yeah. It's one way to get people to build, you know, extra, get, get extra copies of the game. <laughs> Some lamp oil. Yeah, yeah, lamp yeah. oil and matches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We'll save that for found, Foundations of Rome Legacy. Sure, we'll exactly. Save that legacy that. Yeah, that's the last move. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be able to build buildings out on the board where you own property, not somewhere else. Got it. Or you're just going to be able to beg for money. I call it begging. It's really just getting paid. The emperor is going to give you five coins to help fund what you're doing. And he's also going to give you some money for your commerce. Now, real quick, I am going to award you each some property. Okay. Okay. Would you like some property? Yeah. Thank you. Has this been pre-selected to show how awesome we are? No. I don't well, know. What I have I all the best you. properties. Okay. I mean, I well, I pre-selected mine, obviously. All right, so I need you to go ahead and put your deed markers hey, out here on the. Can I play? No, it's a three-player game. Actually, the... it only plays three players. Oh. You know, with expansion, it plays up to five. He'll never know. All right. All right. All right. So what I do need you to do is go ahead and put your deed markers on the six buildings that I have so graciously given you. Okay. B1, G. This game's a bit of a table hog, C5. if no one's noticed. I don't know if I can reach out to anything here. C5, whoever can reach C5. You sunk my Eight battleship. D1, D1. Bingo! No, no, we could do. Okay. We could move this over here if you want to that make this be, easier. That might be, that might, yeah. Is that gonna mess things up? Uh, no, it's uh, no. not, no, because we can move shot this wise. No, shot wise, no. no. And, and now you can be everything the deed past master. This. Yeah, okay. I'm the Six, deed master? Three. <laughs> well... I will abuse my power as much as possible. Well, that's awkward. Yeah. That's... All right. Yeah. So what's what's F1, power four? B4... Yeah, C4? I love because of the combinations of letters ah. and numbers in this game, how many jokes just write themselves yeah, as yeah, you're yeah. doing it. Like, C4. D9's particularly a favorite of mine. Shit. Because you're like, I'm sorry, D9? No. Yeah. I was thinking Deep Space Nine. That's how much yeah, weird right, I am. Right. Well, so there's a B4 for a Star Trek sure, reference. Sure. Like there's a, there's a lot of little jokes fake. there. All right, so hold on to That's these. 
You will have two more leftovers. Those are yours. All right. All right. So and if you now, don't have two left over, then you've done something horribly right. wrong. Is then what's you've happened. done something wrong. Yeah. All right. So now we do need to pick a first player. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you be first player. Okay. Because that means I give you less money. Excellent. All right. So All right. that's what? gonna give Hold you it. five. What's that? All right. You're gonna get six, and I'm perfectly. gonna get well, I get seven. I mean, I, that doesn't seem fair, but all right. All right. All right. Well, but he's going to get to go first. All right. Cool. So I get okay. to go first. So on your turn, you're going to do fill in from that Fr from round from one. here. Okay. So, so that way go. I can explain a few so little two, things you need to know before we get to A7, F2. This isn't bingo. F7, yes. Seriously, exactly. you don't need to call them out. C8, this is not bingo. E6. <laughs> I have a thing that if I. If you I, sunk my battleship. I, I have to. I have to read it. So, yeah. That's also my favorite joke in this. Yeah. Is, is there it's constantly the battleship it's already the, the joke? The third, jo third right. time already. It just, right, right. right. It, Hasbro is already on the phone right now <laughs> doing a cease and desist right now. I, I, I've been waiting for one. Yeah. I think yeah. it's coming. Okay, so on your turn, you're either going to pick buy one of these, and you'll see okay. how much they cost in true fashion of Emerson, who designed sure. this lovely game. As they come out, they'll slide over. It's a river. For those who don't know out there, uh, he's, he's not like Prince. Em Emerson. Emerson Masucci. Emerson Masucci. I, I tend to not say his name as much because I butcher it. Sure. And as somebody who has his name yeah, butchered guy, a lot, guy, it's a bond. It's a bond. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can do that. You are limited by this. So once okay. these are all out, you can't squat on land. I see. Okay. okay. Or you can simply build. Building, you simply just pick a building. And I don't, that, uh, there's Cost no resource nothing. that I have to, okay. This is the resource, all okay. right? You can also do upgrades on buildings as long as you're going to a bigger building. Or you can beg for money, of course, we talked about. Yep. The only other thing you need to know before we get going is just a quick overview of how the scoring is at the end of each round. It's very simple. We're going to use basic rules because I assume you both are basic. It's incredible. Um, <laughs> you're basic. You're basic. You're basic. You're okay. C++, but. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. <laughs> It's, it's, I do because, because my background's yeah. in computer programming. Oh, you mean a, you a, 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 a so, board yeah. game programming where you program your movement? Is that what you're no. talking about? I have no, no. idea. Nope, you're, you're out. No. Okay. No. So at the end of the round, you're going to score based on where you're at in population. That's going to be the tally of all these numbers. All right. You don't need to count it out here because we're going to track it in real time. Also, it's printed underneath everything anyway. Is it printed underneath everything or just the board? It's it could be printed underneath everything. Wow, that would actually change my life drastically. It would. If the scoring of things was printed under everything. <laughs> you know, just, just everywhere. Just, just everywhere. Before you go on a date, just, what's the score? Oh, I'll, I'll go on a date with you. What would you print it on? Uh, first of all, my wife would be pretty upset if I went on a date. <laughs> right. But, uh, I was anyway. thinking shoes, but that will never make the show. Yeah. <laughs> fair, fair. That's a joke. That's, That's yeah. a joke that I started. I was yeah. like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. not going to assign point values to okay. yeah. a woman. Right. Yep. Nope. Yeah. Just don't do that. Yep. Okay. Uh, you're also going to score based on your commercial buildings, but you're going to get money for these. Right. Because, you know. So you get money for these. You get. You're going to get population over population here. Population for, for these. Population scoring is going to be in the basic version. As I said, you're just going to get where you're at on this track, on the score. Plus, whoever's in first place is going to get a bonus for the round. Four, seven, okay. ten, respectively. So we score those. We'll score commercial based on you'll collect the money for them, and right. some of them have victory point values printed okay. underneath them. We'll get those at the end of the round. Excellent. Then we will do the civic buildings. Civic buildings score based on how they're out on the board. It yeah. will score off everyone's buildings. As I said, we're building room oh, together. together. Gotcha. As long as but they're this next isn't, to each other. this is a cooperative game, though. No, it's, it's, no, no, no. Right. No. I only need to own the one next to it if you I You would need to, in this case, you would because you're going from a three to a four. Right. So you, you own all of it technically, you but you already built on most of it. But, okay, okay. You're upgrading you're, this You're building. confusing them because you were using my, my thing. Yes, yeah, sorry, so, sorry. sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're actors. We have limited imagination. It's, it's important that you remember that. Yeah. If it, if it doesn't come on a pages with a uh, highlighter already done. Yeah. All right. Perfect. That's it. Um, so we'll score all of those. We'll get points. The only difference at the end of the final round scoring is all your commercial buildings. In addition to their victory points, they'll convert the money to victory points because money is worthless at that point. Once Rome's built, money is just pointless. I see. But you get victory points for every bit of money that you've got at the end? That, no, just the money that you would have been collecting at that point. Gotcha. This money is, is worthless. And I noticed, so there's a color thing too that goes, so gray, yep. grayer money. Of course, these aren't final. Right, but yeah. right. But. Um, a round will end when all of those cards are done and everything. At the end of the game, all of Rome will be owned. Got it. 
All right. Okay. So we'll start with you. Let's go. Sounds good. All right. Let's do that. All right, I will. Uh, I'll beg for money again. You know, I love that I've got you saying beg for money. It's not actually what it is, it's just getting money, but I call it begging. How much sure. money do you, do you want? No. What if I only give you six? Well, you can. And Beggars can't be choosers. Exactly, they can't be choosers. I am not gonna beg for money. Yes, I am. And is that a good early strategy to, to, to get a lot of financial buildings out? It can be. In the late game, money is more money, money's nothing. So. But all of those fi a lot of those financial buildings have victory points too. Right. So getting them out early, but then okay. you get somebody who stays ahead in population. So right. it's a uh, shape Rome as you see fit. Money. Keep in mind, if you put a population center there, that's what he's right. getting victory points off of. That's You'd true. actually be better throwing in some commerce. Sure. It means you'll have to rebuild population somewhere else, but you can yeah. always the next turn move people over there yeah, and gonna, move yourself back up. I changed my mind. Why am I, I helping you? Me. Yeah, don't do not do that. He's insufferable enough as it is. <laughs> uh, Says the guy who, who's won every single game <laughs> I've, play, I've played with That's you actually, here. Yes, I think that's right. technically yeah. true. Set, this one, you already have the market out, but it still wouldn't hurt to put a fountain just because right. it scores okay, on nope. any building. Right, so that's so right. you do want to kind of adapt right. a right, little bit. Right, 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 right. Yep. I just want to put this uh, position Don't pressure me. I'm not pressuring I, you. Listen. But if you don't go, I'll cut you. It's a family-friendly affair, I see. Mm -hmm. This is Rome. I shouldn't say I won't cut you, but I will stab you in the back with the Senate. And then sell you as a slave. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. nice of you. I was going with Caesar. He was going with Gladiator. I will go ahead and buy... Oh, I don't. I can't. Oh, I have no money. That's awkward. If only somebody had enough money to buy it. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll beg for money. I get, like, all the money in the world. It doesn't matter because there's only one thing to buy, so it doesn't... Right. It's just a ton I'm of money. I'm just going to hand you... It's, it's, it's worth nothing like, at the end I know, of it's game. worth nothing, so it's like... A, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Yeah, you're going to buy it anyway. <laughs> I should have I just shut my mouth. And then I'm going to build a final building. Okay, so Pretty that's... Close. So that's it. Well, thanks, Robert, for uh, showing off the game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's very thinky. Uh, it's beautiful on the table. Yeah, but it's uh, not like so thinky that even a moron can't build the foundations of Rome. Exactly. Did somebody call me? Yeah. No? It's like it's a, a dog. Like... Mm -hmm.